Good morning all. Here are two cooling fans from a Lindsay Drive Type E84 AVTCE 3024 SXS. Now this smaller cooling fan here, it does not rotate. It's bad. It's going to have to get replaced. This larger one is good. This one here cools the control board. This one here cools the heat sink assembly that the IGBT and three-phase bridge sit on. Now the part number of the smaller one is MC30100V1-00U-G99 manufactured by Sunon. And this larger one, it's manufactured by San Udenki and it is part number 109P0 424G301. The complaint with the Lindsay drive is that it uh, would fault on bad fan, cooling fan not working. Now you're probably wondering how does the drive know that the fan's not working? Well here we have red wire and a black wire. That brings up the cooling fan to start spinning. But there's another wire, a yellow wire, and that is an output to the drive that tells the drive that the cooling fan is spinning. Now some drives emit a square wave, and some drives are just like uh, zero to five. Like uh, either at five volts it would be spinning, or at zero volts it would be spinning. And the ones that put out a square wave, that's obvious. You can see the square wave, and the drive picks up that square wave and says, okay, we're going. Now, this one is bad. We're not going to try to uh, show you how that uh, output works with, with that bad fan, but this one right here, we'll hook it up and we'll test it. But let's look at my drawings first. Let's move this out of the way. And we'll bring my drawings in, and that way when we go to hook up the spaghetti, uh, you will know what we're trying to do. Let me get in the frame here. Okay, I think we're in there. I'm not really sure. But I'll put this up at the end of the video so you'll get to see it again. Uh, this is the large fan right here. Like my propeller? <laughs> Here's the red wire and the black wire. We're going to apply from an external power supply 24 volts to the red wire and ground to the black wire. And that will cause this fan to rotate. Now, on the yellow wire, that's the output of the fan indicating that the fan is either not running or running. We have to have a pull-up resistor on this type of, of fan right here. Sometimes you don't have to have a pull-up resistor or a driven output, but this one is an open collector output, so we have to have a pull-up resistor right here. And we're going to attach the other side of the pull-up resistor to 5 volts from a different external power supply. And we're going to look at the output on channel 1 of an oscilloscope. Now you'll notice that the black wire ground of the 24 volts, the uh, black wire the 5 volts ground, and the probe ground, the oscilloscope ground, are all attached together. Let's hook it up and see what we get. From this power supply right here, we're going to set it to 24 volts to rotate that cooling fan. And with this power supply over here, we're going to use it for the 5 volts of the pull-up resistor. We'll attach that ground to this ground. We'll attach the oscilloscope ground to that same ground. And 
this will be our ground connections. Here's our plus 24 on the yellow wire. And here's our plus 5 on the red wire. Now give me let me get some clippy leads so that we can clip onto that little itty bitty connector. Let's move that little fan out of the way. green wire all right, I'm getting all tangled up here let's get untangled I'm gonna sit down hope I don't bump the tripod sit down right there here's our 1k pull-up resistor right here we set that over there for the time being we'll get the We'll get the uh, cooling fan to spin up first to make sure we have good connection on that. This is a little connector right here we're going to clip onto. So here's 24 volts. Set that 5 volts out of the way. If I had the drives connector, but the drives connector is a circuit board, and I can't. I can't cut that out of the drive. Let's see if we spin up. All right. See how nicely that coin fan spins up? Now what we have to do is connect our pull-up resistor and oscilloscope to the yellow wire. resistor to 5 volts of that power supply. I'll use this purple wire here to attach the let's set that way over there. Now we're going to attach pull-up resistor to the yellow wire. Now what we have to do is attach our oscilloscope channel 1 probe. Let's bring that over here. To the same side as that purple wire. Opposite side of the 5 volts on that pull-up resistor. Now let's turn on our oscilloscope. There we go. Now I've got the oscilloscope set to 5 volts per division and 1 millisecond per division. Let's power up the plus 24 volts and the 5 volts and see what we get. Look at that. The yellow wire is a square wave. So on some cooling fans, three wire cooling fans that have the fan running signal, some of them when the fan is running, the output would be high, and others when the fan is running, the output would be low. But in our case, we have a square wave. I wonder what that frequency is. Set uh, our scope to measure. We'll set the frequency. That says 400 and about 416.7 hertz. Ha! So when that drive sees our square wave of 416 hertz thereabouts, that drive knows that cooling fan is running. Let's put the camera in front of our oscilloscope and you'll get to see that. Let me increase that trigger point so it's not as jittery. Okay, I'm going to power down and move 
move our uh, move our camera closer to that oscilloscope. Let's supply 24 volts DC to the cooling fan and 5 volts to the pull-up resistor. There you go, look at that. That is the output of the yellow wire going back to the drive and saying that we are rotating. Now I'm going to turn the 24 volt DC power supply off and we'll see what we get. There. The cooling fan is not rotating and we're pulled up to 5 volts. We have to have that square wave back to the drive. I've just turned on the 24 volts to the cooling fan. We have to have that square wave back to the drive indicating that that cooling fan is serviceable. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> That is amazing. Let's turn the fan off again. We just turned it on. Now you could even, from the frequency of that square wave, you could tell whether the fan was running too slow. I don't know if you can see it, but up here, we have, I have a, the frequency counter turned on, and it says about 413 to 416 hertz. Now, if that fan wasn't spinning at speed, that frequency would be slower. That square wave output would be wider. Watch, I'll turn the cooling fan off and you see how that frequency is extended out slowing down and stopped turn the cooling fan back on there we go all all we have to do to fix that drive is get that smaller cooling fan because it doesn't spin that'll take a couple of days I hope you enjoyed that video. I always enjoy it when y'all come over to see what we're doing. What we're working on. And in the process of y'all coming over, I hope you learn something. Learn something new every day if you can. Keeps you kind of young in the brain. <laughs> okay. We'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the day.